after an unnaturally long break and the fact that I always seem to record with Tau of D&D when my entire province is burning down, which is recently a trend that just occurred to me, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with Gun Bunny, G-U-N-N Bunny, and my supposedly actively willing victim and only one Tau of D&D. <laughs> <laughs> he informed me he was not an unwilling victim of this game. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> So, onward. Ob obsessive victim. Obsessive victim. <laughs> Back to my game, to the mine of little duplicate people. Alright, I'm just gonna, because I can't take this anymore, I'm just gonna slow this down for a moment, because there's a bunch of things I really gotta, I really gotta get under He watched the last five minutes to be like, where was I? And he's like, no, I can do that better. This no, I don't really, do that really this bad. way. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's pick a blueprint. That's a good idea. Uh, Right now, I don't even know what I'm looking for. Let me I was going to say, how about we look at what we have <laughs> okay. of guys? We have one engineer, one science, one farmer, and one housekeeper. We could use an operant. We could use a doctor. We could use a... All right, we need to we need to go fix that, too. Let's, let's get this. All right, I don't like that. I definitely don't like anybody with floral scent, so... Uh, this is the creator or medicine, so we can have a doctor. But or he does have creator. decreased medicine, so you got to think of him as being only creativity or husbandry. Uh, let's just take him as a creator. We need to get one of these guys eventually together, though it's really hard to get the this the. Um, what are the seeds you need for for cloth? I'm such an expert at this game. The All reed right. seed. <laughs> All right, let's get him. Can you feel the dust flying around the room as we shake it off our bodies and brains? <laughs> okay, and this guy, construction. Let's see, strength. Okay, so he's a carrier too, and we'll give him some speed. This is exosuit, durability, damage, and plus two athletics, so we'll give him some of that. Do you ever get very hard into the suit wearing? I don't tend to play those maps. I've been getting more into the suit wearing because there's all sorts of benefits to it, and I'm probably going to try and do something like that today. Uh, this guy is our science guy, so let's get him on this. Let's give these guys some... Hats! Hats some for hats. everybody! Okay, and... Here's our agriculture. Here's our farmer. I'm sorry for the weird background noise, guys. There is a fan, but if we turn it off, we might die. No, I think we can turn it off. All right. Tao is going to brave it. If you start to hear me die on the other end of the mic, you'll hear the fan turn back on. Okay, so this is our new guy. We want to make sure he supplies. We want to make sure he tidies. And we'll give him some life support. And uh, recently I've been doing this thing where it's just like I don't want him building I don't want him building and I don't want him building so we'll go back to bringing this down to this he can build a little bit but really we want a second builder okay uh, the next thing we need to do wow I really am out of out of out of touch with this all right, I want to get this. I want to get this research done down here. What are we looking for? We're looking for this here. We want the airflow tile, so that we can fill in these holes, these patches. Yeah, so we can get better circulation. Yeah, and in the meantime, uh, let's cut these out, and let's get this planted. And we do not oh, have. Oh, it's a thimble reed. That's the one that makes cloth. We don't have any blossom seeds yet. We've we don't got have a single blossom. No, we've got to chop into somewhere. We've just been doing mostly dirt and. Usually, I get a couple. All right. Well, let's grow some mealwood to start. And oh, you do have some blossom. Go back up to your plants. They're already going on the other side. See them there? Already planted. Zoom in behind your oxygen. See the green ones? Oh, there we go. We were clearly on it. Clearly, I really am out of out of touch here. Blowing off the dust. Definitely. All right, well, there's a blossom there. Let's go get it. And see, that's that's a hidden object, and that's a hidden object, and that's because you'd see these little... Yeah, anywhere that that's a seed or something. 
So let's go get and some. And a little of bit that. of coal. It's weird. It's like a single piece of coal. Mm -hmm. So let's go get some of that. And we'll get that blossom seed there. And there's some blossom seeds down here, so. We'll go retrieve. Let's go retrieve those. And in any case, I'm going to want to build that out. Now, what's that going to be for? See, there's a blossom seed. Uh, let's cancel that because I want it to be there. No, we need to cut those out. Yeah. I'm just going to round out this, this tank so that it's, you know, AD&D friendly. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we will just... We'll just get on that. Now, let's see. What else do we need? Uh, research is this. Let's finish this off. We need a water cooler. Well, we're finishing off the menu. Yeah. Okay. So... So we've got our food thing. We need power to our barbecue. Because we need a mess room. Uh, and the mess room has a bunch of specific things that we have to get in. We have to get this water cooler in place. We also want to find ourselves a flower pot. And then we want to fill it out with the rest of these. Because we expect to have more people. You do a lot of tables right off the bat. Well, I know I'm going to eventually need them. And it's... Uh, it's just convenient to be able to lay out. Actually, that is not correct. I've been changing the layout on my beds lately. So. It didn't correct your thing, your lip, for reasons it didn't cancel it. You went to cancel those end oh, pieces. It didn't do it. Let's cancel those end pieces so are. that it works. Okay, I've been making my beds into two small bedrooms like this. Because that way, later when I want to build plastic beds, I can get two plastic beds in per room. Oh, that makes sense to me. And if you try to go eight beds across it won't give you the room bonus yeah you're you're too big and you're not getting the bonuses and if you go six across then you're only getting three beds and it winds up taking on it's not a, it's not the best possible so i've experimented with different ways of doing this oh i still don't have that thing and i'm waiting for it and i'm looking for it now so let's clear these let's put some doors in there. Well, you got your airflow tile last. A man. Did I get my airflow tile? Yeah, there it is. There it is. All right. So we can put that in there and then we can put them. I could only assume that's what you were looking for. It is what I was looking for. I have a specific way of laying out the airflow tiles so that they're... They're important. Um, I have a lot of systems when I play this game about my oxygen circulation. I know you and I do it differently. But uh, it is huge that you get the oxygen moving around your base and that you manage to filter the carbon dioxide through your base. That the, you can see I'm just jumping around doing a lot of things like the moment that I see that it needs to be done. I just I just grab onto it and start doing it. I do think triage is a big part of this game. Well, it's just at this point in the game, I, I know that there are other things that I need to get to. If you need to select research now that your research is done. I don't really hurry this long. Okay. Um, you take it as needed. I take it as needed uh, because I know that eventually I will have... I'm surprised you don't shoot for bathrooms right away. That's always a big one for bathrooms me. Bathrooms suck up so much water. 
And I don't like to have bathrooms until I know how much water I'm using. Mm. They're fairly comfortable with these. And they don't use any water. They just use dirt. These use a little bit of water. But until you get your water supply firmly established, the bathroom will save you a little bit more water. Like, it's strange, but you the, the clean water runs through the bathroom, comes out as dirty water. You transfer or you clean up the the dirty water and put it back into into clean water you purify it and you wind up in the long run with more clean water than you started with so i assume the additional clean water is coming from the food that they're eating or something like that yeah but all of that system you know i'm gonna it's use a lot of power yeah it, it's all a lot of power and so until i have my power and my water settled down I don't want to move on to bathrooms. They like bathrooms. They're great. But it's it's not worth it. It's such a big difference playing with the germs and everything. How different you play. Yeah, because I don't. I just, I don't find the germs. No, I agree with you. I don't find the no germs problem. fun. I don't, I'm not interested in But it in changed the style in which I played, to say the least. I would imagine it has to. Because sinks are going to become a lot more important than how quality your sink is. You sure put up with a lot of bleach stone, let me tell you. You don't mm. like it in your base, but you need it. <laughs> I try to tell myself that the chlorine here doesn't have any actual effect. But as I think I said in my last videos, I can't get past the idea that chlorine kills. Chlorine is death. Chlorine is not healthy. And yet, the game doesn't really care. Yeah, the game's <laughs> like, they're duplicates. They're fine. They breathe oxygen and they suffocate next to plants, but chlorine, that's okay. We've we've grown past that problem. There's something here, I think. Look yeah. at all your little shine bugs. They want to cut they'll all be dead before I can make any use of them. Always the way. I never can make the shine bug really pay off. If I get them where I'm actually ranching them in any way, I'm so late game, I don't care. If you can get them all together in a room with the, the solar power thing, they'll run the solar power thing. Yep. But I, I, I can never do them at the same time. As soon as I get the solar power thing all set up and running... They're all gone. They're all gone. And I can't keep them alive long enough to make it worthwhile building that together. So It is easier for me to crawl up to space and make my solar panel thing work. <laughs> let's do that. So the rock crusher and the ki what's that one the kiln? Uh the uh, yeah I want the rock crusher so that I can build I can start refine making, metal. Yeah I want I can start refining some metal. It's funny I I'm not banking my base this way these days, and and I'm trying to remember the old layout that I used to go for. You just keep trial and erroring. Oh, I really am lost. and I'm... It's okay. We can find feet. So let's, thinking about my next project, let's speed this up again so that they can work on that. And then I want to prioritize for the minute this over here. I'm still a good distance away from being able to do my next project, but I already have that. So let's build. Sorry, when I say that, I already have my better research station researched. There, your rock crusher's done. And I will get to the rock crusher in a minute. Just what I want you is know a it was station. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, let's build this station. So that's the super. That's this the is super, the super computer. computer. Yeah, uh, because we need it to research the more complex complex stuff. So let's get the supercomputer in place. You want to do me a favor? Throw up your oxygen map for just a hot second. Okay, I see why they're complaining about the the supercomputer room. I was just like. Should be fine. What are we complaining about in this room? Wow, well, we can... Pop a hole. We can pop a hole, but they're not that... It's not that oh, much Oh, no, trouble. it's fine. I just... I take cues from seeing their faces. And I was like, what on earth? You're fine. 
There is this arrangement that I started building some time ago that just works so well, but I like to have, it needs a certain, it needs the deodorizers and it needs the, the insulated rooms. Oh, uh, yes, that explains why you need the supercomputer because you can't get the insulated tile without the supercomputer. So let's get this moving here. So I'm just going to increase the priority of that so that they will get started there. And in the meantime, I'm going to build the outside edge of this room. But I want to build the... Oh, and I want to do this. Which... I'm impressed we haven't hit a geyser yet. Uh, I think that might be one below us. Nope. Nope. No geysers. Not much water on this map. Pretty. Pretty empty. Pretty empty water on the map. And look at this. He already got himself trapped. Every time. Mm -hmm. This is what I always end up in. Well, these, I'm these guys go out on. These, these these guys are built so that they go out on the limb and then cut the limb behind them. It, it is their nature. <laughs> you cannot trust them at all. You have to you have to build everything in just such a way that they can't kill themselves. <laughs> and look at that. I completely goofed this up. Because I built it too low. That one shouldn't be there. Come on. Deconstruct it. Thank you. Now, this doesn't look... This doesn't look typical. And I'm deliberately not explaining what I'm doing. I gathered. That's why I haven't said, <laughs> what will this room be for? I'm letting your reader... Jimmy Chillickers, Batman, <laughs> what will this be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah... It's not my fault. I recently started watching 1960s Batman, and it's warping my tender mind. Now, what I want is I want to create a dirty water hole. We need a drip tank. I had it right the first time. I said I was being patient, but I'm running this at top speed, and I'm usually just sitting here staring and contemplating and enjoying the little rats it's, moving around. It's the thing people don't understand. The minute you have to talk the game, you're garbage. Uh -huh. There's so many games I play on my channel that I'm like, I'm not this bad. I'm really not. But my brain cells can't talk out loud and hold hands. It, th this is exactly what I'm experiencing right now. <laughs> All right, so this is built. So now we want to get... Insulated tile? No, this this be surprising. Uh, we want to get this one first. Uh, that's the deodorizer, the magnet yeah. door. Because we we have we're starting to build up some polluted water, and this is slowly messing up our, Your door our base. Door is talking to you. This is slowly messing up our base now. Fertilizer. People. We still need a doctor, and we certainly need somebody else who can do excavation. We have a good cook, though, here. Uh, this guy. Yeah. See, this decrease, decrease... I don't mind this, but this increased decor morale bonus. I don't like to get anybody who has anything like this. I like them to come into the game clean. I see. So, this guy who's a tidier... We've got, we've got two housekeeping already. Yeah. Um, this guy is decreased... Husbandry and cooking, but if I make him an excavator, I don't need either of these. So, Ren, you're my guy. You do have to move people into schedules once you're done. Yeah, I, I think I haven't done that, have I? No. All right, so let's give him some hard digging so they can get through the granite. And let's give Rowan some field research. And then let's go check the priority of Ren. We want to make sure that he's doing the right job. Concentrating on building. Then we want to go back to the 
to this and move Amari down to housekeeping and Ren can stay in engineering. We see, still need an operator. We don't have somebody who's a good operator. So that would be nice to see. No doctor. I usually get a doctor very early. Just, it, it just gives it to me very early. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this <sighs> click in the wrong place. We're gonna have this be polluted water. The bottle it will empty dump the polluted water into this container, which will be the primary container for this to pull polluted water out so that it can be used for plants. Okay, sounds good to me. Then this, when it's full, will overflow into this larger chamber that is underneath here that we will build. This larger chamber will be full of, well, this is a limited amount of water on this particular cold map, but this water chamber under here will be full of polluted water, which will naturally produce polluted air. We will also put slime down here, and we will put anything that pollutes, that creates polluted air down here. Damn. Oh, it's just some something in front of somebody. It's, at least it's not a guy who's been That's why I was hammered checking into a wall. That which was why that I was checking it. I'm like, uh oh, in tune. Let me <laughs> click that real quick. That could be a dude. I'm usually going too fast and then it, I miss the entombed thing and it's like, sorry, Ren has died. And you're like, what? <laughs> Where? Happens all the time. It is the worst thing about this game. They're so dumb. Meepits. <laughs> Meepits, every one of them. See, by, by building this, I am I am risking. You are, because they're going to walk in, and seal and, it. And seal it behind them. And then, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Meep it. <laughs> it's so their nature. Which is why I really should leave this open until they get this one done. <laughs> <laughs> Do not trust. Do not trust. Alright, that research is still going. But anyway, that way, if I put the deodorizers here, here, and here, all the, all the, the polluted oxygen that is in this tank will go through these deodorizers and it will constantly put fresh oxygen through the rest of my base. Yeah. With no use of power. Well, a very minimal use because the deodorizers used to not They use a lot power. of sand and I didn't notice until I played a map that was sand poor <laughs> and then found out that, that you don't want to play metal poor. I don't want to play sand problems. I have no never seen a sand poor game the so. magma level is sand poor well, that, that'll do be, not that'll do be this. fun if ever I, if <laughs> ever i want to do that i was like why what's wrong and it's like out of sand i'm like how am i out of sand sand is everywhere no so now i can i can make this deliver polluted water now but it'll just create polluted air here because you're not ready for it in a concentrated way whereas right now this is producing it fairly loose and around but it'll take polluted water from everywhere this is slowly melting so we can just fix that so that it melts in its own hole and good we've got our thing done so now we can there's the insulated tile get that insulated tile. also the heating coil not that I think you're going to do it, but for I, audience information. I have solved the heating coil. I don't really use it. Uh, it just uses a lot of power, and it doesn't really have a lot of effect. So we're going to set that up. And uh, let's see, how much power is that using? Oh, yeah, we can, we can spare that. So we are going to connect that to that. And we're going to build our 3D risers right there and there. And as soon as they get done, skip up the speed a little. Back to regularly scheduled speed. We can kick the polluted water up. We can put it up to nine so they suck it from everywhere on the base. And make these a priority for sand so that they will bring some sand for these. Note there's sand right there in front of them. 
And it goes from saying filtration medium to, oh, citrus centered. <laughs> <laughs> there, now they're all wrapped up and they're powered. So these are running now. So see, look at those nice bubbles of, of, of future oxygen that are just rising from here. You should close off your gap to your supercomputer because your bubbles of oxygen and your deodorizers aren't going to cool very, very far. very true. I forgot that the uh, <laughs> the guy caught tried to self-immolate. <laughs> <laughs> so before he pl pollutes the base, thank you for that call. <laughs> hey, when I see it, I'll say it. Uh, now the words, <laughs> if I see it, become very, very relevant. But... <laughs> Let's finish sealing up this this top hole up here. Just make sure that that is. There we go. Now we're all nice and sealed in. I'm just waiting for my insulated tile. Yes. And meanwhile, I can now build this refinement because this creates a lot of polluted oxygen. Yes, it much also, more than you think it would. What is nice though is it also creates heat. Yeah. Which is why I'm going to build 3 of them. Remember the first time I did it, I did not I underestimated the amount of polluted oxygen it was going to to create. And then the other thing that I want to do, I've got to build And finish building that out to there. And then I want to build three storage bins. Three storage bins. What do you like to keep down here? Bleach stone? Uh, bleach stone, if you keep it in water, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, fertilizer. So you can keep it in water here, or you can keep it in water underneath this. But it's really best underneath in the, in the, in the polluted water. Because I usually keep mine in the water, but on or this, just that side. On this map, this tends to run out, right? Like there's many times when you're on your last legs, and you you uh, if if that happens, then the bleach stone starts emitting chlorine. So you want to be sure. That so this you, is where you, you know, keep your agriculture, your fertilizer, everything that sweats slime. Yeah. So here's your organic. This is p polluted dirt is going to produce the gas, right? Same with your agriculture. Your fertilizer does too, right? If you go up in your list. Do you not do your agriculture in this list? Uh, the fertilizer doesn't produce, doesn't produce gas. I thought, click your agriculture. The fertilizer doesn't produce oh, I gas. I thought it did. Nope. So... We're down to no research selected, and now I'm not going to pick another research because it's all hands on deck. Now you're going to do what I do. You just build a giant bubble. And now we're just going to build a giant bubble. That's what I always do. I'm like, and now to dome my base. <laughs> so few people do it online, and I'm like, clearly you don't play the cold map because if you play the cold map, man, this dome is life. Yeah, you and, you know, you... You want to play it, the dome you make, you want to kind of make it as small as possible because it does take a lot. Yeah, it does take a fair bit, but I am going to want a big hole here at the bottom. So I am going to do that. So I'm going to go down all the way around once to build this dome. I'm just going to build it right across there. And we'll make a hole in this dome right there so that we can put a doorway. You save so much heat if you do this. And then we'll put it up one and close that off. And then we'll pull that right across. And then we'll do it there. Oh, actually, I'm going to do my other technique for this. I will give myself a stairway on the outside. So we will put the dome one thing 
outside this. Close it off there. You have an extra piece. I know, I'll go back and fix that later. Just throwing it out. Let's close that off there. And we want to actually put that there. There's a plant in the way. They can't can't really get to it anyway. And then we want to put this underneath the water. It reinforces the tank. It reinforces the tank. See, I left an extra one right here as well. And we'll bring this stairway all the way down to there. You don't have your fireman's pole yet. No, I don't. It takes a lot of metal, which I have. And while we're here, we will deconstruct. We'll deconstruct that. And that one too. Let's see now. So now we want to give access to all of these walls, right? Yeah. So we will put that there. And then we will run this ladder down to this so it can access all of those walls. And we will make holes here and there. Oh, right, and we got to make it that way so that they can reach up to the top. No, we can also do it that way. No, that's fair. And along the top, all the way to there. And we're going to need some floor over in this part so that they can reach this corner. I always, I always build ladder. I just do this big, long row of ladder and then mm -hmm. clear it out. And here, and there, and there. And we can run a ladder down inside the wall here. And we should crack that. Are you sure your people are interested in watching this? To be are fair. You, are you sure they're not <laughs> bored out of their minds? They might be, and there's always a risk. <laughs> but, you know, I've recently found out that there are a bunch of people who are going to sleep listening to Futurama because certain seasons there's no yelling. And I've done that myself, so I always just assume <laughs> the worst case is I'm picking content where we're not yelling. <laughs> we're not screaming into this. So I, it's I, very gentle. But I'll, you and I have both watched lots of videos of people just running trains. Well, honest to on I can't watch I can't watch let's play videos where people are screaming. I just can't. And that has something to do with my age and it has something to do with my whole pacing and uh let's see. We don't want the fart free the farts. Uh the, I think we should just take the coal. I um, I don't want this guy over here, the, the, the cook, because of his backup. But that's a doctor. And we can see, we can, oh, take, I this, see. We can take this doctor, who isn't going to be doing any building, you know. So I don't give a damn about the excavation. But I, I'll take the medicine and the agriculture, and we need another agriculture, right? Sounds good to me. You better click her. No, no, no. So if I take the doctor here, and we take that and I'll come back and fix those guys then on the priorities we can make doctoring. doctoring a priority and we can make this and keep her away from the excavation even though she knows how pissed. she'll just she'll just excavate herself into a grave <laughs> this she is will true. she will just dig herself in and because she can't build anything to get out she'll just die there and we'll give her a little bit of... No, we'll keep the farming and, and the ranching and the doctoring. And then there. Now we have a sort of a second kind of farmer. Even not age. I mean, I understand your argument for your age. I also don't want to watch stuff where people just scream. It's too frenetic. I'm not that excited by it. It doesn't make me feel excited. I know that's sort of what they're... Look at me. Look how excited I am. I am screaming. But as you listen to me playing this game, you can hear me getting worked up by it. And I think that's a kind of a passion. Look, this guy has trapped himself because 
this sand that's fallen in his room, <laughs> and he can't get out because he just can't so he's fallen asleep here now my videos are very important that i do my best to try to describe everything i'm physically doing because i assume you're never looking at my screen and i watch a lot of videos where it's stuff like this and if you don't say i'm building the observatory right now i have no idea because i'm not looking at you i'm working i'm working and i don't have time to look at you well certainly there's a lot of videos where you know, I run the video in the background while I'm working or doing things, but I, I couldn't do a Let's Play video like that. I, I understand people do, but... I, I do. I, I absolutely I, do. This is something I would engage with. This isn't something that I would just stare at. I can't just or, stare... Or, 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 pardon me, that I, I could just have running in the background, because I just drew it out of my mind, like, because I'd have no reference for anything that's being said... I, I can easily sit and listen to people talking without hearing a word, and that's not what I listen to background music, like information for. I want... I can go both sides. I can see both sides. I do both sides. A lot of it comes from just wanting something mellow while I work. I enjoy the patter of other people talking. Well, then I'll listen to music. Like... See, you talk about tuning out. About maybe 10 years ago, I stopped being able to work and listen to the music. Oh, the music is on, but I don't hear it. I am completely out of it. What do I want? Well, we were talking about this. Let's... let's, let's... What is... What did you pick? Okay, this I was is... really far away. I didn't get to see that. What did you pick? Okay, we were talking about this. I recently learned how this works. Oh, okay. I'm so bad at the automation. Okay, what right, do we this got? Is, this is the oxygen mask pattern. And this is the oxygen mask deck and or, or checkpoint and dock. See, okay. I've never used this. I've built this, but for the po uh, the portable okay. gas. Uh, so if I come switch. over to stations, I can build a crafting station. Um, let's build it here because this isn't using very much power. And uh, let's fill this out so that it holds the crafting station up. And let's prioritize. And you need some wire. Let's prioritize that a bit, and then we we need to attach it up. See, so this is where you step out of the way I play, because I I don't like I said I really haven't done the suit wearing. It took me a long time to even remotely figure out how the suit wearing worked. Okay, where do we want to where do we want to set our suit up? Okay, so we have. Let's build a hole in our plan there so that we can get out of our box uh, we have all this over here that if we pump into it's going to be a lot of carbon dioxide could and, be water though yeah but we can we can go research or we can go dig into this and see what's here but we won't have much oxygen and unless we want to build oxygen producers on our way it's not better with the mask you know, it's better with the mask because then he won't need an oxygen. So we can build our checkpoint. You like I said, I've never done this. Okay, you see how it shows the little guys moving past it, so it tells you which is the correct way to set it up. So we want them pointed this way. And we're going to want three docks. So you see where this... I, I can't point at it, obviously, because I'm holding it. But And if I press it, then it disappears. But the little orange, here's this white pole. That's the that's the thing you move past. And the little orange thing next to the white post pole, that's where the dock is. Okay. Okay, so there, it left it up. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four docks next to that. And then I'm going to put a tile underneath it all. And then I'm going to come back, and our crafting station is done. So I'm going to keep this oxygen mask, and I'm going to make one, two, three, four oxygen masks. This is neat. I haven't seen these yet. I love it. All right. So I'm going to dig this out. So that's an achievable space. And then I'm going to need... And I like to have one line of electricity per level so let's run this wire out 
Oh, I hate when it does that. I can't do anything straight. All right. Sputter, sputter, sputter. <laughs> Clean. Clean. <laughs> All right. So we need to run this wire out. But until these are built, you can't. Connect. You, well, you can connect them, but I'm just going to wait until they're built. And in the meantime. Everybody's got lots to do. In the meantime, you I'm, never did hook up your barbecue, just so you know. Uh, not barbecue. Grill. My, my grill. Uh, barbecue is a different thing. I know, I know, and I thought it when I said it. My brain's like, that's a different tool. All right. Well, for you, let's go connect up the barbecue. Now you see, we want to fill these with oxygen, so that there's oxygen in the mask. And so this I would get this so wrong. I'm watching you build this and I'm like, I would screw this up. This did not happen all at once. I this, believe you. I feel this, many dupes this, died in this learning this process. This took some time. <laughs> uh, no, not dupes, but I had to sit with the internet. Uh, and because these kind of explanatory things are very badly done by people online, like they're just like, well, you, you put this here and this here and there, or you're done. And it's like, could you do this step by step, please? Like, <laughs> I'm watching. In any way you know, at I'm all? I'm watching you do it. I'm just like, oh, holy God. I, <laughs> me alone in the dark playing this would never have happened. Now, later in the game, when you set this up, you'll have to have a, um, a filter so that you're sure there's oxygen coming through here. Yeah, because okay. your density's off. But this early in the game... There's nothing here but oxygen, right? I'm pretty Filling high. Filling some poor guy's mask with chlorine. I'm pretty high up, so I'm not really going to get any. This this, this polluted oxygen is already disappearing, and most of this carbon dioxide is going to drift out. If I make this hole here, then that's going to disappear before it becomes a problem. So I'm not creating the... Uh, and I'll put a... I'll put another air aerating tile in there so that the carbon dioxide just falls out. I said you're filling some poor guy's mask. That's entombment in the weirdest way. But it is a bit of a dangerous game, right? So it is better, but right now I'm just going to save the electricity. Uh, there, I, I, I wasn't sure. These don't require electricity. Isn't that nice? Nice, nice. Then you have them deliver the suit, and you make sure that it's high, or else they'll 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 leave it off for ever, ever. So deliver the suit and high. You'll notice that there's no copy on this one. Yeah. So there he is. Oh no! I thought he was delivering the suit. Somebody will come along and deliver the suit. Is it so cold that I'm getting, like, breakages already? How cold is it? It's 22 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not that cold. I don't know what the breaking was. All right, so now, there, I've got a, I've got an oxygen mask in the mask dock, right? Ready to go. I, did I have a cook? Did I get a cook? Yes? Uh, no, no, I don't think you did. Let's check your people. I think I don't think you did. Uh, I can look here. Nope. Yeah, there's nobody grilling. So, shall we make Amari our alternate cook? Because we can just go down and then make sure that he... Cooks. Cooks. And we'll make that his primary thing until we find another cook. I think you have to make a... And we'll move her to science. Uh, this was not what I was doing. Uh, skills. There were other guys with skills. Okay. So let's make sure one of these can dig through a harder amount of surface. And then Travaldo, let's make sure that Travaldo can critter ranch. We have a chance of people. Maybe a good cook. 
uh, science and machinery. Oh, there's our... Operator. There's our operator. All right. Bert, welcome aboard. And we will have you operate like a crazy man. Oh, what other skills does Bert have? Bert is... Uh, he's also a scientist. So we will have Bert prioritize operation and then he can do some research on the side. And we can move him down. Oh, we need a new... Yeah, I was going to say, you need a new schedule. We need a new schedule. And we will call this one Operations. Now, I was going to tell you, if you go into your schedule and you increase your light blue for your, uh, or your downtime one by one... Yeah. Uh, you increase every one of the plus one operation bonus. Okay, well, I usually do that when it becomes quite obvious that they're having trouble getting back home at the end of their work day. Okay. So I usually leave it at this. I until you're a little further along. Until I'm a little further along, and they, they start to have some trouble getting their way back to uh, back to the base, and they just don't seem to have enough time. And now you see this is completely set up. We haven't delivered a suit to these two. And I'll get them to go somewhere so that you can see how this works. And we'll put a little doorway here. Actually, let's make our doorway in the right place. For them to go through. See, that's yeah, another repair errand. What now? Why does that need? Is it because I'm not getting oxygen? I'm I not, think it's that you're not. Getting I'm oxygen. not getting pure oxygen. Here I was talking. Oh, look at that! You just got a little bit in the line. Oh well. Gee. You're going to have to do the filter. I'm going to have to do the filter. Usually... I, I don't think we have it researched. No, we don't. Go disable that before mm -hmm. it uses power for no reason. Your uh, air pump. Well, the pipe is blocked, right? I, 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 I cleared out the takeout, but let's go get the... Uh, let's go get the filter. The filter is not going to take very long. No, it's an early stage one. And just to help this out a little, we had so much oxygen in the base, and now the oxygen's all gone. It's always the way, though. It takes uh -huh. nothing. You're good until you're not. <laughs> this is don't starve. Why? I never starved to death in this game until I get really busy and realize there's we no food. We just checked it, and there was oxygen thick all over the base, and now there isn't, right? Yep. Everybody's going to start passing out from lack of part per million. Anyways, you'll be glad to know that now that YouTube has decided that my classical playlist is harmless, we will now be serenaded softly by, by very by classical gentle music. classical music. Which I like is underlay to my games. Right, when we... I can. It'll auto-repair. Eventually. Now you see he's wearing a little mask, and he's got a little Aww. blue line that's underneath cute so he doesn't have breathing problems and he comes back so he can be here a lot longer than he would normally be able to be also works faster because when they're getting less oxygen they actually slow down yeah they suffer quite a uh, this one slows it their their um, athletic down to minus two but Normally, uh, if they're not getting oxygen, their athletic is slowed down minus five. Let's look at numbers.
Now there's an updated suit, right? Yeah. That's even more than this, but it comes a little later in the game. But this is easy to set up early on. And now our... Sorry, our pipe is clean, right? Because I've got this oxygen next to this. And except for the fact that I have no power at the moment, the oxygen that was rolling through here was clean. Go, my little hamsters, go! So I will deconstruct that vent. And we'll move that back up to seven, and that should be at seven. Let's check our priorities. Because all these wheels should be at seven. That should be at seven. These should be at seven. That. That. And we'll put those up to seven. So, how are we doing for time? Oh, no, I never look. There's something in my soul that just tells me when I'm around an hour. I don't know what it is. My brain's like, all right. <laughs> We're it's there, good. we're done, we're And finished. I just sort of look at whoever I'm playing with and go, I think we should stop. And it never fails that we stop at like an hour and seven minutes. It's just like a... I never look at the time. Well, you got to account for the fact that you're losing some time to editing and... Yeah, it usually makes my videos somewhere around an hour. It's just freakish. I don't... This is taking a stupid amount of time. So let's move these all up to six. I like to set six as the upper limit for how fast I can hurry guys the temptation is of course to turn everything into an emergency but if it's well, yeah, but then you jack up your stress to 10 million and everybody eats double food but if these are all at seven and this is at six then I know that the priority of all of these for those guys who are supposed to be doing these is going to be lower and so they're going to go to the bathroom before they, you know, forget to do so because the priority is so high on the things you're asking them to do. This this works even better if you don't you, you take a little time and you lower everything that you're not building right now down to four. Yeah, I've done that before where I've made everything four. All right, he's let's give him a little bit of extra strength. See, that's plus two strength. His strength is right now nine, and his machinery is one. So if we want to put him on a machine, we can do this. But we we just got our new operator, so let's pop up his strength. Again. And a pretty good operator. I don't know. Uh, I like it when they're thirteen or thereabouts. He's nine, so that's fine. His athletics right now are minus four because he's probably underwater or something. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> something <laughs> bad. I love he's probably underwater. <laughs> the minus four athletic? Oh my god, what are you doing, brother? <laughs> I'm in the wall. I'm in the wall. Help me. Right now, I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I seriously don't know where he is. Is he dead? Is he dying? It'll tell you. You get a thing. Just go click him. Where is our operator? Okay, now I don't know. Well, he, you... he took off past us, so he's fine. Okay, when I looked at the screen, it's like you clicked and it was like, should be here. No, no picture. <laughs> <laughs> but I still have yet to see him. All right, let's go follow Cam. Sleeping. There it is. This is such a weird thing. I mean... This, I am not epileptic, but this like pushes <laughs> my epileptic thing really bad because you're so close. You can pull away and it's a lot easier. But when you when you first start off, it's like, wow, that's really epileptic. My the one thing I'm I following miss, something like this guy, right? This is <laughs> the thing I miss was you used to be able to garnish their nutrition so you could get really hard and how many calories everybody could eat oh, wow. <laughs> and they took it away and i mean good like don't get me wrong this <laughs> game did not need that <laughs> but in the consumables because you can see where it once lived in the consumables there used to be a bar right here that was how much calories everyone ate in a day and you could turn it like uncomfortably low well, you can you can turn all of these off. I don't I don't really need them eating any of those anymore. They shouldn't be eating meal lice or or nutrient bars or muckroots because they're 
garbage food. I'd rather them having the, the, the gristle berries, which still sound pretty bad, and they still do this face thing where they're obviously not enjoying their gristle berries. But uh, it is still better than the muckroot. There, let's finish out our chairs. Now, see, if I get the doorway built, yeah, this one too. They like doors, regardless of how good the See, doors that are. That is the only room right now that... That you're getting a bonus. That I'm getting a bonus from, because I am behind on all of my doors. I need this one, and I also need... I don't think I've got it yet. No, I haven't researched it. So let's go research the food. That's always a good idea. Let's go research. Fridge. This gets us the fridge. This gets us the, the farm station. I'm not ready to build one of these yet. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the let's, fridge. let's the go fridge get the fridge. The fridge is big. Uh, we are sort of making food over here. Let's shrink our kitchen a little bit. Um, you have a person. I do, but I haven't seen them actually work the grill yet. No, but... no, no. Um, you have a door. Oh, I have a printing pod. Ooh, do we want the water? I don't want germ resistance. Uh, this is our second farmer. Yeah. So Lindsay's our farmer. So Lindsay, let's make you an improved farmer. Let's put you there. Let's kick Ren up to an improved building and change his hat. Let's put Lindsay. I love the hats. I'll never stop saying it. <laughs> They're really helpful because at least I can kind of see what people do. And we don't want her doing any building. Uh, we don't want Bert doing any building either because he can't dig. And um, we can we can move Lindsay down to farming. This really should say farming and food. La -ta -ta. No, I think we're getting a handle on it. This is finally starting to fill out. So at certain points of this game, because of the nature of the game, and because I'm not fast forwarding or using cheat codes or so on, you honestly just have to sit and wait for them to finish what they're doing. I need this room to be to be completely built. You can see that I'm getting a little bit of I'm getting a little bit of gas from from this. I don't have any slime yet, but we've got slime That's on common. the way. See, if I go and I have somebody go and just kill this one little square out here. There you go. Nope, he's changed his mind. Nah, that's hard. No, his his downtime came. He decided <laughs> he was on his way, but then he decided, oh, right, lunch, sleep, bedtime. What am I doing? I should go do that. So everybody's doing their bedtime process right this minute. Da, 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 da. Someday somebody will remember that there was a job that needed doing. It's sleep time now. We don't do this right now. There he goes, da, ta, ta, zipping across, getting his mask on, and then he comes back, he takes the mask off, he jumps in the air, and then we, you see, this is producing oxygen already, only we would rather we did it in the base, so now we can go and we're going to have this to be slime, change that, and then make it all, all the same, and then as slime gets delivered, this will the slime will also make will also make gas. For a long time, I was doing the slime refinement, and I found out that it was actually better to keep the slime to have it produce polluted oxygen than it was to refine it. Absolutely. Yeah, and in the early days, I was like, "Well, there's a slime refiner, and that's what I should be doing." And then I messed with it for a little while. And I'm like, "Why don't we just leave the slime making oxygen that I have no other way to make?" I just ran out of slime. I couldn't believe how easy it was to just run out of slime. Yeah, you can mill it right out, no problem. So I, I, I do what you what you suggest, right? I just, well, it's better off making oxygen. That's fine. And. This setup, right? I like this setup. I don't build like that. I like it. 
once this really gets going and you have a lot of oxygen in here you can you can throw one of these in as well if you feel because this also produces this terrarium yeah it also does polluted oxygen but it uses it uses water yeah it uses water but uh this will give you even a little bit more and you can get a pretty good flow of steady oxygen rolling out of here so that it cuts down this also uses algae and, and that is that is the main problem is everything uses so much algae and later on you can there there are other ways to get around the algae but yeah this is this, this is a good setup this this box it's just an oxygen making machine and it works even better when there's water in the bottom and we just to get water in the bottom i just got to pull it from one of these other places and melt it down here with a tepidizer and then it really works well yeah all right i think that's probably a good place to stop today you feeling good about there for now yeah if uh, probably next time we play this it'll probably be i have no idea what i'm doing i hope that we can play this more frequently it's been a long time since we got here um thank you so much for joining us this has been oxygen not included uh, I'm going to include, because as per usual, Canada is burning to the ground, please check in my information below for any kind of wildfire relief efforts if you'd like to make donations. Uh, thank you so much. This has been Gun Bunny, G-U-N-N -N Bunny, and Tau of D&D. &D. Yeah, hey. So, thank you, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you again. Goodbye.